This technical demonstration will show you how to configure a PowerShell network shutdown to support a Cisco Hyperflex Edge cluster. We'll then showcase PowerShell in action, protecting your Hyperflex equipment during power outage. Log into vCenter server and right click on the Hyperflex cluster. Select Deploy OVF Template. Select Local File, click Choose Files and browse to the folder where you downloaded the PowerShoot OVA file. Enter a name for the PowerShoot VM and click Next. Select the Hyperflex cluster and click Next. Click Next. Accept the license agreement and click Next. Select a local data store on one of the target nodes and click Next. From the drop down list, select Storage Controller Management Network. Customized template allows you to configure a static IP address and network settings for the Parachute VM. Enter a root password for logging into the Parachute VM. Enable SSH access if required. Enter your preferred time zone and click Next. Click Finish to start deploying the Parachute appliance. When the deployment completes, select the Parachute VM and power it on. Next, click Launch Web Console. The console shows the Parachute URL. Enter this in a browser to launch the step-by-step -step setup wizard. On the welcome screen, click Next. Choose IPv4 or IPv6 depending on how your network management card is configured. Select Host Managed by vCenter Server and click Next. Enter the vCenter Server details. If your vCenter Server uses a self-signed SSL certificate, enable the option Accept Untrusted SSL Certificates. Choose Hyperflex from the drop-down list. If vCenter is deployed as a VM on the cluster, select this option. Select your UPS configuration type and click Next. Enter your security details. The username and password are used to access the Parachute UI. The authentication phrase is used to authenticate with the network management card. Enter the network management card IP address and click Next. Confirm your settings are correct and click Apply to register Parachute with the network management card. Click Next after registration is complete. The host protection page displays all hosts in the VMware inventory. Parachute automatically detects the host running the vCenter server VM 
and the parachute for you. Enter the Hyperflex cluster IP address and credentials for the local Hyperflex admin user. If using a self-signed SSL certificate, enable the option Accept Untrusted SSL Certificates and click Next. If your UPS supports Outlook Groups, select the one that's powering your equipment and click Apply. Click Next. The virtualization settings page allows you to define the times needed for each step in the shutdown sequence according to your Hyperflex setup. Confirm your settings and then click Next to apply the changes. We recommend enabling the option to turn off the UPS after the cluster is gracefully shut down. This helps prolong your UPS battery life instead of letting the battery drain each time there's a power outage. Click Finish to complete the setup. Configure Events allows you to define which events will trigger the shutdown sequence. For example, UPS on battery for 5 minutes. Shutdown Settings allows you to configure the option to execute a command file or script during the shutdown sequence. Enable VM prioritization to configure the order that your user VMs will shut down and power back on. Select VMs on the left and drag them to a priority group on the right. VMs in high priority groups are shut down last and powered on first. Set an appropriate duration for each priority group. To skip powering on VMs in a particular group, you can set a zero second duration for that group. We will now showcase PowerShell in action, protecting your Hyperflex cluster when a power outage occurs. The UPS has been running on battery power for the configured duration. This triggers the shutdown sequence. User VMs are shut down first. The vCenter server VM is shut down after the user VMs. Parachute then shuts down the Hyperflex cluster service. After the cluster service has been stopped, the Hyperflex controller VMs are then shut down. The host not running parachute is placed into maintenance mode and then gracefully shut down. The parachute host is then gracefully shut down.
The nodes are powered on when AC power returns. The Hyperflex controller VM is powered on, followed by the Parachute VM. When Parachute comes back online, it takes the other host out of maintenance mode. The controller VM is then powered on for that host. When the controller VMs come back online, the Hyperflex cluster service is started. Now that the cluster service is back up and running, Parachute turns on the vCenter server VM. The user VMs are then powered on. Your Hyperflex cluster is back online following the power outage without any data loss or corruption. The vCenter server VM and user VMs have been automatically powered back on, minimizing the downtime. This concludes our technical demonstration. We hope you found this useful and informative. For more information, please visit apc.com forward slash PCNS.